Is I'm I'm up here. I got giant furniture in here, more giant furniture down there, and a mess everywhere. And today, for the first part of the day, I have to clean this. I have to clean this stuff up because I can't take it any longer. And I've got to find a place to put this furniture, even if it's in my own house, because my wife buys furniture uncontrollably, and I shall no longer suffer because of that. This is a picture of the workshop before, and here it is now. Hopefully much cleaner. Didn't really get into over there much. I was taking pictures of stuff that I'm selling, but moving stuff out. There's my wrenches that I use. Whoop. Selling some of this stuff. Hey, what do you guys can buy? Does anybody use rigid? There's a lot of rigid batteries. Like Makita like bunny rabbits what i use a lot of these magnetic little racks here i get a harbor freight magnetic strips and use pvc to hold screwdrivers and pliers and stuff and of course i have a few holders for drills that i'm using a lot and then some stuff for grinder discs which is kind of an afterthought i could take that stuff down and put it somewhere else probably in fact i will i have more room for other stuff put power tool holders over there because I have extra power tools all the time. And I have these five, but you think you don't need all those, Zach. But actually you do, because you'll end up, this is a die grinder. There's two impact drivers and two drills and you'll have like two or three different drill bits in or just an assortment of different chucks. And it's nice to have them in separate drills so you can just reach and do it if you're doing something over and over again. I thought about putting a rigid planer below down here, but I ended up putting the vacuum cleaner down here. I have this doesn't fit bin. That's gonna be all the stuff I'm taking to a potential booth where I sell stuff. I might have to get a smaller bin to put over there. I did move the bandsaw over here because I didn't need all this storage for tools. I got rid of a lot of them. I just gave away a few of them. Just kept a couple extras here, which I think I'm gonna add that power tool storage right here after I move some of these grinder blades and discs. I can just store them right here, just in the PVC underneath here. So I could probably leave them in place and still do that, actually. But there we go. All of my redneck stuff, which seems to work. This is about as clean as this floor has been in a while. It's not super clean, still dirty. It's less dirty. I get the big vacuum out and go across it, and then it'll be beautiful. This is something noteworthy. I get these DeWalt battery holders. I had so many, I put some on the face of this. Now, I don't have any DeWalt batteries right now, but the Bauer batteries actually fit in these, and so do the Hercules. So you can get, so you can buy DeWalt and put like different batteries in there. Milwaukee fits in here too. So a lot of different batteries fit in this thing. So you can just get to one brand and you got quite a few taken care of. Well, I sold my Craftsman wrench on eBay, so away it goes. Vintage Craftsman wrench away. Hopefully to live a good life at somebody else's place. Since I have my evapor rust now, I can start getting ready to put some tools in evapor rust. And to have a container over there, a nice blue container, I'm gonna cut a piece of screen, drop it into the container so I can hoist the tools out with the screen once I am finished. All right, I have my screen in there, so whenever I'm done, I can just lift the tools out if I want to. I'm going to put this wrench in here because it has some hard-to-reach areas, and I want to be able to get them nice and rust-free. So we also have this little clamp with threads. I'll go ahead and put that in there. And, of course, inside of the cap that goes with this wrench and, and the threads on the inside as well. We can get all that stuff. This one right here, I think I can just take apart and do... So I don't want to use up the evapor rust any more than I have to. So I'm going to start with these three pieces and just I'll be able to add some here in a minute if I want to. This stuff works really, really well. By the end of the day or even in a few hours, all the rust will be gone. Uh, you can actually drink this stuff too, although it tastes like cow piss. So I'm doing something kind of risky and I'm using a scraper with an oscillating tool to remove some of this paint. 
So I'm going to show you guys how it turns out. Consider this an experiment, but I need to learn how to rapidly remove some paint. And this is one method, and it's risky as crap. Okay, so using the scraper is all well and good, but it can get away from you pretty easily and cause uh, ruts in the wood. So we don't want to use a scraper. I, uh, I made a couple sizable ruts and decided that I would no longer use it, but still could try random things. I want to try some different stuff just to see how it works. So this is actually a grout bit. And I think it's a grout bit. So I'm just going to try and see how it does taking paint off and we'll let this experiment last just a few minutes and I'll start with this piece right here because it's on the underside. I'm just curious. You never learn anything unless you try something. Way too aggressive. This version doesn't seem nearly as aggressive, so before we go back to sandpaper, let's try this. I mean, if you don't mind it being a little bit rough before you work on it, I don't think that would be too much of a problem. But it's too rough for what I'm doing, but theoretically, you could use this in certain instances. Now I have the Ryobi HP Brushless with 60 grit sandpaper because I already had the sanding head on this. So it's just easier just to use this. So let's see, dial it up to maximum. much better and yeah i really want to try that milwaukee m12 random orbit detail sander they have but uh that's expensive the oscillating tool is working fine but i just realized why am i not taking this piece apart so it's easier to reach these spaces sometimes guys i'm dumb so we got our screws out of course the heads are rusty hey might as well just go ahead and Put them in here with our other evaporous stuff. That'll be perfect. All right, they'll be clean in no time. Everything looks pretty silver down there already. Disassembly complete. Should be a lot easier to get to all of this area now that everything is missing. I could even use a random orbit sander if I wanted to.